after me my personal advocacy has been intertwined with my advocacy for the family business. So I came to realize we uh, at the helm of the oldest distillery. It is a big responsibility to continue the legacy of our families, no matter what. So that has also become my personal mission. When I started, um, of course, I had to learn the business from, from my father. And after a few years, we, we suffered this very bad strike, the first strike. And that's when I was really. As they say, you know, that boys become men, right? I really took that big leap and immersed myself and learned everything about running the business. That had been a big contribution on my part to help my father turn around the business because we did suffer uh, business losses and reversals and a lot of challenges after that. Of course, there are other challenges, but I would say in my lifetime that probably would have been the most so, is gone. Yes, I uh, really put in my heart, my soul, everything to make sure that we will continue. And after that, he he also gave me the, the opportunity to try out uh, many things like introducing new products, launching marketing campaigns, and trying to sell up our products abroad. It brought me to think, um, what is it really that's Filipino? What can I offer the world that will reflect uh, favorably on the Filipino, on the country, uh, as a supplier of drinks. And I developed uh, the line of craft spirits. The first one I introduced was in 2002, and that was the Paradise Mango Liquor. And at the time, there was no such product in the market. And from there, we added more. We added our coffee, our new coffee, then we had the liquid for the seed and the dalandan. And then the very old Captain Rum created a more special rum, our Basi, the American Basi. So we, we decided that we would like to be known to be the producers of the best Philippine wines and spirits that you can possibly find. And we would like to put these products in the world map. Number one is uh, uh, actually, it's not the number one. It's very, very good. I would say hard work and perseverance. But working hard without persevering doesn't make uh, doesn't also produce so much results. It's important to keep learning because one cannot uh, think that he knows enough. It's never enough. Invest in yourself, yeah. and then maybe one thing that they should be doing is to save money. You must always save for a rainy day. This is from my mom, you know. You must spend for investment, not for consumption.